All right guys, so today I'm here with a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be installing this smoke and carbon monoxide alarm in this garage. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So here's what you're gonna need for the installation. The smoke detector, the ring to install the smoke detector on, the mounting hardware that came with the smoke detector, a Sharpie or some other kind of marker to mark the ceiling for where you're gonna put the screws, and a screwdriver, and if you need one, a ladder. So for this particular installation, I'm going to be installing this smoke detector right there next to that outlet on the ceiling. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now before you install your screws in your ceiling or your wall or wherever you're gonna mount the alarm, you're going to wanna go up to the ceiling or the wall with a Sharpie and this trim ring for the smoke detector and mark the ceiling or wall where you're going to install it. So hold it up, put a little dot on the ceiling and right like that, you can see that I now know where to install it. So let's go ahead and put the screws in the ceiling. Now normally when installing a smoke detector, you'd have a drill. I don't have a drill right now, so I'm gonna use the screwdriver to drill into the ceiling. Only do this if you absolutely have no other way of drilling into your ceiling. I don't condone this. But as you can see, it does work. So there you go. Now you're gonna get your anchors out of your pocket, put them in the holes that you just drilled, get the other one, got the anchors installed, and then take your screws and screw them into the anchors. Not all the way yet, because you're gonna need to put the ring for the alarm on it. It's going about that much on each screw. And then get the trim ring from your smoke detector, align it over the screws, and then tighten the screws the rest of the way in. And now that the mounting plate is installed, take your smoke detector unit and spin it onto the mounting plate. There we go. The last thing you should do before calling it a day is test your new smoke alarm. Now I recommend testing with real smoke or something that can pretty accurately simulate smoke, such as a fog machine. Looks like the smoke detector works. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you with installing your new smoke alarm, and thank you for watching.